A new breed of cats is presented by the National Bank of Detroit. You know no pussy cat, it's lying. You get a straight mat on. got done with the walkthrough uh, for the day so <clears throat> a little bit of a unique week obviously extra time here getting ready for the first uh, for the first game so decided to go out and uh, you know start early in the week Tuesday Wednesday with practice and um, and then you know pull off a little bit here physically but have a big mental day uh, which was good for us get a head start moving into Friday uh, red area and all the rest of it so um, you know, good opportunity for us to go out there and just kind of work on our communication, work on our mental reps, our substitution, things like that, uh, that are going to be critically important for us, you know, playing away <clears throat> this weekend. So uh, we're just, you know, grinding towards the weekend, really kind of status quo as far as all that's concerned. Um, you know, I'll, I'll announce our, uh, our captains. We voted on that this morning. Um, so uh, Jared Davis, Kennard, Diggs, Mule, Stafford, Amendola, and Decker. So uh, I think the guys did a great job selecting captains and, um, you know, teammates that they feel will help lead them and lead us um, and represent, um, you know, us as a team as we work through every single week to uh, try to get ready to go. So um, that's really kind of it. I'll take, uh, I'll take questions. Matt, uh, you guys worked Tracy Walker into the you know, packages just last week, obviously liked his skill set. I think he set to make his first career start Sunday. What's the difference for a player going from a kind of a package player to a sure. starter, just from an opposing <clears throat> team standpoint? And then what has he done over the last year to kind of put the trust, put the trust in you guys that he can kind of handle that role? Yeah, um, you know it's interesting. I think um, um, you know until you kind of mentioned that, I really don't. You know, I don't think of that stuff that way. Sometimes I guess the whole starter thing for me. Um, you know, Tracy last year was critically important in a lot of the packages that we played. So he was out there as part of the first unit in those packages. So to me, those are um, starting type groups, you know. I mean, I think we only have so many guys on the roster. And it's the same last year. I thought he did a good job of kind of continually growing throughout the entire season and uh, improving his play and showing consistency with that. And then really through the offseason, I thought he picked right up uh, where he left off. He kind of just dove right back into it. Uh, didn't really take much of a break in the offseason, improved his communication, his overall understanding of the defense. And I think what he's done from the spring through training camp has really showed his multiplicity as a, as a player. You know, there's a couple different things that we've done with him through camp and moved him into some different uh, positions and um, asked him to do some th things that we didn't ask him to do last year. And he actually, um, you know, so far did a really good job of those. So for us, it's just kind of the next step in his pro uh, progression of, of, you know, being a player. And, um, you know, certainly 
I think those guys around him in the back end have helped him along with the communication with the linebackers and just being around each other for, you know, a full year coming through that that process. I think that really helped him, uh, you know, from year one to year two. We'll see, obviously, as we get going. Carrying carry on Johnson, what, what are you looking for him in his second year? You talked about the transition. Things get a little tougher because they get tape on you. Yeah. He also has experience, too. What's the balance there? What are you looking for? Yeah, I mean, I think that'll be, you know, it'll be a big challenge for him this year. I think we talked a lot about this, too, maybe last year with uh, Kenny, you know, the same situation. Uh, I think Carrion's going to see different things uh, from a front standpoint, different things from coverage and the rest of it and how they play when he's out there. Um, you know, part of that last year, too, was people trying to figure him out for the first half of the year and not really knowing much about him. And uh, there's obviously a lot of tape and a lot of film out there for defensive coordinators to study. So I think it's going to be a challenging year. I think it's going to be really difficult. I think a lot of teams are going to obviously, uh, you know, do things to try to take him away from that standpoint. And, and we're going to have to adjust and, and keep pushing forward. But, um, you know, it's a big year. It's a big jump. You know, we go from year one to year two, and he's still got a lot to learn. He's got a lot to grow from that standpoint. But he's working hard every single day. You know, he's he's great as far as that's concerned he's the same guy every day works extremely hard in the building to understand uh, you know what is the what are those next steps that he has to take and you know hopefully he can do that when we get out in the field how closely did you follow Kyler, okay. Kyler Murray and, and his decision making process to make the jump to the NFL and, and how much did you watch him in college maybe even before you made that decision um I, I actually probably did not watch him at all in college before uh it was getting ready for the draft and you're going through the draft process. And at that point, you're taking a look at, the, um, you know, especially quarterbacks, um, just as a defensive coach uh, and, you know, head coach, I watch all of those guys. You know, you, you do due diligence on all of them, knowing that uh, if you have an opportunity to, um, you know, get a guy in the draft, you're going to get one, or also you're probably going to play against them. So, uh, you know, you make sure you do that process. You understand that it's going to help you in the end from that point. And um, certainly I've seen a lot of college film on him since then. So I've gotten caught up, but um, not a lot before that point. You did, uh, you did talk with him, I think, at the combine, like that 15 yep. minute, whatever. Is there much that you could glean from that that could help you now? Was, was this even in the back of your head at that point? That you could yeah, sure, around? absolutely. Um, I think. I don't know if there's anything that gives us an advantage from that standpoint, but I definitely think it solidifies um, how he carries himself. I was really impressed with, uh, you know, his interview, his mental preparation, his process, his maturity. Uh, you, you just you feel it right away, even if within 15 minutes, um, you can get that sense. So um, certainly that kind of is validated by his play on the field and how quickly he can make decisions and how quickly he gets rid of the ball and, and deciphers what the defense is doing and what it is decision making that uh, and his confidence, you know, out there on the field. So you see all that on tape and it's backed up with it sounds crazy but it's backed up with 15 minutes of just meeting him you know right away this guy's you know that's that's who he is on, <laughs> on a rookie just to take it further when you look at a guy that's never started before for a, a real game do you, what's the how do you look at that like it's compared to someone that's been around the league for a long time do you try to do throw a lot of more extra stuff there what's the process for you yeah I think um, really the process has to be about us first you know it has to be making sure that we understand it's our first game too you know and we want to make sure that we're out there and our communication is good and our execution is solid and uh, we're doing the things that we need to do to try to play good defense from that standpoint or offense and we understand that we have a lot of new parts also so I think it's kind of back and forth from that aspect of it where um, you know that guy, you know, some of the guys on their side might be new, and, and we have some guys that are new too. So that first game is always that's the toughest part about it. And I think it for us, um, a lot of it's going to come down to basic fundamentals and great execution and you know great communication. I think those are the three things that we really have to do in this game in order to give ourselves a chance. Another rookie that, that could see some time for them in this game is uh, Murphy. Um, I know you guys were looking at the cornerback position this yep. offseason. I wondered what you saw in him during your evaluation, and then as you kind of reviewed the the preseason film, just how he's making that, that jump to this level. Yeah, and I think you know Vance has done a really good job of coaching him too. I think you can see the improvement in his technique and his play, and, and a much more uh, aggressive man-to-man -man style. You know that they'll play in those things. Um, I think he's more patient now uh, through the preseason than what I saw in college. Um, although he's very quick, he has a good skill set. You know, so as you were watching him coming out, uh, definitely certain things in there that we liked as him as a player, and that's still holding true. I think he's just you know you see that uh, maturation from the college level to the NFL level with the with the coaching that he's had out there. So. They have a lot of confidence in him. I think he's he's a good young player. He's going to give us a you know, uh, he's going to give us some trouble, and and he plays fundamentally sound. Um, he's pretty good. So uh, it'll be it'll be one of those matchups that we'll just have to keep an eye on. Coach, you talked about Carryon Johnson making this jump from year one to year two. What about you making the jump from year one to year two? Is it different for you? Are there less last minute details that you have to deal with, or anything like that? Yeah. Um, 
<clears throat> I think there's there's probably two sides of it. There, I think there would definitely the latter part of your question is true. You know, actually, I think we were just talking about um, you know just some of the things maybe a year ago at this time that just took a lot of time, a lot of explanations or just um, planning details, things that you know how we wanted to do it that are kind of automatic now in a way, which alleviates just a lot of extra um, time and, and stress from that standpoint and trying to make sure all that's done. So there's certainly parts of that where that foundation is laid and that things move forward. Um, quickly. Uh, I would say for me, you know, my biggest thing is just trying to be uh, very self-aware here in my second year and trying to improve those things that, as I reflected in the offseason, that I thought weren't very good that I need to improve on both, you know, for me personally and then also as the team, you know, as the team goes from that standpoint. So um, I think there's different challenges that come up the second year that, you know, obviously there will be new. Uh, you know, I think every year is like that, though, in the NFL. I think there's something new that comes up um, no matter what. And it's just, you know, you got to deal with them, move on, and hopefully make good decisions and go forward. But certainly there's, you know, <clears throat> even just going back to, like, training camp, uh, some of the setup of training camp and just making sure that, you know, with the fields changing and the different things that we had, you know, in those situations like that. I didn't have to spend any time on that stuff this year, which was great. It frees up for other, other things. Of what team can be this year compared to last year? Like, do you have a different – Yeah. We, we sort of set up the vibe feels different. Do you feel the – Sure. A little different you know what? It's um, – I don't really get into that stuff because, I mean, who knows? You know, I mean, I've been in situations where, you know, the, the sky was falling in September and, and things worked out pretty good in the end. Uh, I've been in situations where it looked pretty good in September and it didn't work out in the end. So for us, the NFL, it's a roller coaster, and it's just about trying to be as consistent as possible going through that so that we can try to improve as we go. So, um, you know, we'll see. We've got a huge challenge in front of us, you know, but it's one of 16 games that we have to play, and we've got to just do everything we can to try to, you know, go out and perform well this weekend, and then when it's over, uh, we're going to have to turn the page and go out and try to do it again. And that's the challenge of what uh, this league is about, and, you know, that's the fun part. Yeah, the the game that changes between the time, then the element of the game that changes, opening on the road and opening at home for you as a coach, is the things you look out for more with a team on the road than you would at home? Sure. Um, I think, you know, the obvious one is obviously just the, um, the crowd noise and how that affects which side of the ball. Um, certainly on offense, uh, playing on the road and having to deal with noise and communication and uh, when execution um, you know, is critical on the offensive side of the ball and you can't communicate some of those things that um, – you know that they need to in those situations that it's a, it's much you know much more difficult i think defensively um, obviously playing at home last year you love the crowd noise you love that energy that excitement you put the pressure on their offense i think the offense feels more of it um, from a communication standpoint defenses too you know they need to be able to communicate but um, for the most part you know i think the offense is a lot more intricate from that standpoint so i think that's a little bit different um, <clears throat> you know i would say that through preseason and us going away to houston and taking a trip that was a little bit longer and and just having the experience of you know being in the hotels for an extended period and our meeting rooms and our setup and uh, our travel and how we travel and what we're looking to do when we get there and then prepare and get up in that game day routine feel you know that that trip allowed us to really get a good handle on it more so than just a uh, simple overnight did you know you kind of settle in and you feel things out and you say hey this is good this is not good this is what we like so uh, you know we'll try to do that when we travel this weekend too. I know, yeah I know park on this a little bit but for your situation on Sunday, do you know what that's going to look like? Do you have a timeline at this point to when you're going to be able to be in front of the Gatorade courthouse? Uh, my injury? Yeah. <clears throat> day by day? Um, you know what? I mean, I don't. I again, I just I don't know. You know, I'm I, like I told you guys before. I started walking, which was good. You know, and the crutches and all that stuff. I don't know what it's going to feel like to stand for three hours. I just don't know. You know, so we'll see. We'll probably have everything set up just in case. I gotta I gotta move around. So are you are you going to try? Are you gonna I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out on Sunday. Sunday. We'll find out. We'll see, maybe I don't feel so good flying. We'll we'll find out. But I mean, you know, as soon as I can get out there, trust me. I mean, I think you know me. I'm going to try to get out in front as fast as I can. But I got to be safe too. And I don't want to do something that's going to hurt me or another player or somebody else if I can't move or get out of the way. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to do that. I got to be smart. Okay. I appreciate it. Thanks. My teammates and um, everyone involved in choosing me a captain, and you know, I'll do everything I can to help us win. Is that the best part that it comes from the team? Absolutely. You know, your um, your peers, your the coaches, the players. You know, that, that's who I'm here. You know, battling with every day. So to have have their respect and um, them to want me to represent them. You know, it's truly truly an honor on my behalf. And you know, I'm excited to get things going. Can you talk about what you've seen? You mentioned obviously first year last year, first year head coach and Patricia. From last year to now, how things have you know changed? Have you gotten better? What's the feeling been like for you guys? 
Uh, I feel like we're more comfortable. We understand, uh, you know, what coach expects of us day in and day out. Um, we understand how thing, things are ran, and we're just getting more and more comfortable every day. And defensively, um, same thing with the defense, understanding everything. And, and uh, you know, we're really excited to get, uh, get going against a really good opponent. Do you look around and see maybe more talent and maybe a team better equipped to win than, than last year? Um, you know, last year was last year, so I don't even care about, you know, last year much, but I, I like what the team we have right now. I like the guys we have in this locker room and, and um, on the defensive side of the ball, and I'm excited uh, to get out there with them and, and go to battle with my guys. This isn't your first your first opener, though. Do you look around the room, and, and when, even when you're on the field, and see people buzzing around, and do you see a potential for this team to, to do big things this year? Yeah, I think we have a great opportunity, but you know, I'm sure there's 15 other teams who are saying the exact same thing right now. So uh, we got to go out there and play and, and um, earn it day in and day out. And it starts with a good day of practice today and, uh, you know, following it up with another day tomorrow. And when you start stacking days like that, then, you know, that's when good things can start happening for you individually and as a team. What have been your impressions of Kyler Murray on film so far from when you've seen him? Uh, he's dynamic, you know, the dude's very fast and he can throw the heck out of the ball. Um, you you know, so uh, it seems like a very complete uh, quarterback, but obviously that was um, in co college and, you know, preseason. So, you know, um, it will be his first first real test. And, you know, we're excited to, to you know, go out there and have a good game. How there eager, seems to you? be an excitement here with you. Is that just you personally or is that that first game coming up and you're ready? Uh, you know, me personally, that's just um, how I am. But, you know, it's week one. I feel like everybody is, you know, pretty, pretty juiced to get going and get out there. Is it like the first day of school? Yeah, that's very similar. You know, you got to make sure you're ready to go and you're really excited. So, yeah. You're ready. You a guy like Flowers on the offensive side and then obviously Mike coming in. What do you expect that to do for kind of what you see in your game? Well, when you bring players in like that, um, hopefully it raises everybody's uh, level of play. You know, when you're surrounded around talented guys and, and your teammates are there and you've been grinding with them all summer, all, all camp, you know, you get out there, um, you want to see them make plays and you want to uh, make plays with them. So, you know, that's, uh, that's the exciting thing about having good players around you and good players, um, you know, on your team. They can't block everybody, you know, obviously can't hmm. the team at all. You expect to see because of what you guys have kind of assembled put together up front and maybe more single blocks and some opportunities that maybe you didn't have last year in this defense. I'm sure if you talk to Arizona's O-line, they'll say they could block everybody. So I guess we're going to see on Sunday. <laughs> you know, around the league, those guys get chosen captain. And, you know, it's something that you think about um, that, you know, um, you think about a little bit in the back of your head. But, you know, it's here. And, you know, I appreciate my teammates for, you know, giving me the opportunity to be the captain of, of the team this year. And, you know, it comes with a lot of responsibility. Is that the best part that the vote comes from your teammates? No doubt. You know, it's always good to get that recognition from your teammates, the respect from your teammates. And that's what I've always been about. Uh, I step in this locker room every day. I just want to earn the respect of my teammates and just let them know, you know, I'm going to be out here. I'm going to be ready to go. I'm trying to practice every day. I'm trying to play, you know, every every snap for those guys. And um, that's what's important to me. Just talking to Will Harris, obviously a rookie, and you got Orwari and other guys. It seems like from what they're, the guys are saying, you guys have a really tight secondary unit. You've seen it like that. And obviously, as I mentioned, these guys look up to you as well. Yeah, no question. You know, um, everybody vibes together. Um, it's easy, you know, when our best player in the secondary is just a goofball and, you know, he just goes out. He does what he do every day and, you know, he goes, you know, he locks up guys and, you know, he, he practices every day and, um, you know, he's just fun outgoing. So that, that energy rubs off on everybody and, you know, with me, I'm, I'm, I'm myself every day. You know, I'm a little tougher than Slay. Um, you know, I get on guys, but at the end of the day, you know, it's all love and, um, you know, I'm not always serious. And most of the time I'm, I'm joking around playing all the time. So. You know, my teammates, they love that, and I just try to keep everybody loose and ready to go. I imagine you watched Kyler Murray, at least for a game, last year. What do you make of him as a college quarterback and when he decided to make that jump? What do you make of him as your week one opponent here? Man, he's tough, man. He's a, Like I said yesterday when I talked, uh, he's a tremendous talent. And like I said, if he was 6'5", you guys would be talking about he's the best quarterback prospect to come out. But, um, you know, he happens to be 5'10", and I've had those same doubts in my career. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to him. You know, I'm going out and showing everybody, but, you know, hopefully not this week. For the first game, is there kind of a first day back at school vibe? You know, when you were a kid, you were excited, and the first game is like that, or no? No, nah, this year five for me. It's all business, man. It ain't, it ain't none of that. You know, uh, my school day's over. I'm glad, too. But, um, you know, it's fun. It's good. You know, the vibe of the locker room, everybody knows what it is. It's time to go in. Um, we just got to lock in and be ready to go. Mondo, do you feel different about going into this year than you did 
last year? I mean, is there a different vibe in that sense too? Like we can accomplish more. Or do you have any doubts last year? I guess I'm I'm not here, you know, to talk about vibes and things like that. I'm just here to play ball. You know, go out better myself each and every day, and I leave it up to the coaches to figure out what the vibe is around this team and. Um, you know, I, I see, you know, I see and I look at guys, but at the end of the day, you know, that's not my responsibility. That's not my job. Maybe you speak to the importance of just getting off to a fast start then because last year it seemed like that slow start really lingered, I guess. No question. That's been, that's been a thing since I've been here. You know, um, we've got to go off the fast starts and we know that. So um, hopefully we can do that, you know, this Sunday and we can go out, you know, go out there and perform the best of our abilities and, you know, um, just uh, take our practice habits to the field habits and, you know, see if those things work out for us. Wilfred Quinn was a uh, captain of the secondary last year. This offseason, he said he was, felt like he was passing the torch to you. Now that you've been named captain, do you, do you kind of feel that sense as well? Well, um, I guess you could say that. But, you know, me and GQ are two different people. Um, that's my mentor, my OG always. And, you know, I always bounce ideas off him no matter what. So, uh, you know, um, it's a blessing to have this opportunity. And, you know, um, it'll be cool, you know, to have another guy in the secondary that's, that's a team captain. So that's fun. <laughs> They lit the fires under our feet Chased us into the hills, oh They let the wolves off of the leash Should've finished the kill We got ashes on our shoes And an outcast attitude And we're all immune Cause we know the truth is viral No bones, no 